Hey gamers, Ethan Sito here on the Total War Age of Blood server, and today I will be telling you guys about the newest move craft craft type, which is the factory. Those of you who have been veterans on Total War for about uh, six years, going on seven now, will recognize this um, from an older version of the server. Basically what the factory does is it lets you duplicate your crafts, but obviously, you know, you need all the materials for that. So I'm going to demonstrate this using this fighter that Rizwit made. And I need a hoe. Don't mind the squeaking, if you can hear that. My sister's boyfriend's dog is come over to play for some reason. And yeah, we're not going to talk about that. So basically what you want to do is you want to fly your fighter over to the place and set it down on the factory and the oh no now this <laughs> now this is something i didn't anticipate we're gonna have to scoot this back otherwise um oh no no no! we need to scoot the fighter back because like, i can't release it or else that would get attached i think we need to do one more back okay here we go so what I was saying, um, let me just release and pull this guy back. Where are you? Where do you put the sign for this? Here it is. Okay, we're going to scoot you back a little bit. Oh no, it happened. It happened. Too late. Okay. Okay. That's okay. I'm just going to break that connection. Then we're going to come back. And we're going to... Where's the sign? The sign's up here. Okay. Now we're going to back up. Okay, so we finally have our fighter on... Oh my freaking goodness, it took the sign. That's not good. Okay, so be aware that you need to be really careful about landing... Um, your plane <laughs> or ship on the platform as uh, it will take the signs away if you're not careful. But um, the platform itself is made out of hay, which is a block that your move craft won't be able to take. So don't worry about that and don't worry about that torch. Who knows why that's there. Okay, so piloting the factory, you're going to right click it. And you'll see that the factory can pilot all of the blocks in your move craft. So that's why it says 250. It's added the plane onto the platform. And then we're going to use this sign called repair sign. Basically, the way it works is you write repair with a colon. And then the second line is going to be the name of your save state. So this actually lets you give your factory multiple save states. So if I'm finished duplicating this, then I can fly that plane over, land it on here, and then save it into the factory. And then I'll be able to make whichever plane I want. So the way you save the state of your factory is by left-clicking the repair sign. And you're going to want to do it twice to confirm it. This is probably so that you don't accidentally overwrite your save when you're just walking around. So now the state is saved, and to duplicate our move craft, we're going to want to release the factory. And then we're going to hop inside of our plane and pilot the plane. And you'll notice that the plane is uh, it's not grabbing the factory, so it's just 104. And we're going to fly the plane backwards off the platform. Ouch. That hurts. I'm not entirely sure why that happened, but it did. So we're going to fly back. And we're going to release... Oh, it, it might be a bit too close. So we're going to fly a bit farther away. And now we want to pilot the factory again. And in order to bring back your plane, you're going to right click. It's going to give you a little readout that of the information of what it needs to add in and uh it's possible for it to take money to complete but i set it to zero um just so 
I figure it'd be annoying if you need money to repair things. So basically, just make sure you have all your materials needed in the chests. Um, if you don't, you're going to have missing blocks. <laughs> and then right-click a second time. Um, oh, it needs more materials. A lever, coal block, or more coal blocks. I got plenty of coal blocks. And stained glass blocks. Five. Is this not in the chest? Hang on. Signs, stained glass blocks, uh, two torches. I didn't put in the stained glass blocks, so we're going to take tinted glass, and we're going to slap this guy in here, and then we're going to try it again. No. We need one lever. Okay. Oh, I know why the... Um, it, it also counts the inventory inside of your ship. So if you want if you want to spawn in your ship with coal blocks inside in the furnace so that it can take off immediately, then you're gonna have to include those in the chest. So we're putting in our lever. Uh, we need four coal blocks. So I'll just spawn in some more. Put those in there. And then stained glass. Of any kind. So we'll just do purple stained glass. Slap it in there. Should be good. Yeah, there we go. And as you can see, it is building the plane. Take about 55 seconds. Um, the speed is based on how much needs to get repaired. I say this is pretty cool. So now you don't have to worry about actually building your designs. You just need to take your design to the factory and save it. And then as long as you have the materials, your factory will build the design for you. Which is pretty useful. You know, if you just want something on the fly, if you want to mass produce it, if you're getting attacked, if you want to sell move craft that'll be useful although you know you got to be careful now because any move craft that you sell is basically like giving away to design because it makes it easier and i think that is done yep repair is complete you may now pilot the craft so now we oh it doesn't it doesn't give the signs so it looks like you're gonna have to replace the signs but i'd say that's a small inconvenience compared to like you know, having to rebuild the craft. So now we pilot it. As you can see, it's got the coal blocks inside the furnace. Not in the same spot, but that doesn't really matter. And then we can fly away on our coal move craft. There we go. And yeah, so if you want to make a duplicate, if you want to have multiple designs on your thing, like I said, you just make another repair state. So if we fly this craft over here, where is the, I always forget with this guy, here it is. Okay, so we're going to fly this over to the platform, go down, we have landed, and then you just got to go, oh, <laughs> I forgot to pilot. Although I think I need to go a little bit farther away on this platform because it's going to try to take the signs. So we're going to we're going to make sure there's ample space between us and this craft. Okay. So now we want to pilot the factory. Oh no. Release the fact the release the fighter. Pilot the factory. You see it's taken on the fighter and then hit it twice state saved and now um i'm not sure if we have enough materials but basically the same concept applies is that if you put in the materials for this fighter and then you right click 
the big nerd sign, it'll make this fighter. And if you right click the nerd sign, it'll try to make that fighter over there. So yeah, that has been the Movecraft factory tutorial. Um, I've also switched some things up with cannons the other day. I don't know if you saw the announcement. So I'm going to make a cannons tutorial because apparently cannons are a lot more complicated than I first imagined. Like I just found out yesterday that there's a heat mechanic where if your cannon gets too hot, it can't fire. So yeah, we're going to figure that out. See you later.